I'm going to read a passage from Paul to the Philippian church uh, where he quotes a poem or song. We don't know for sure. But it's a very uh, powerful testimony about the sacrifice of Jesus for us. He tells the Philippians, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. And here comes the poem. Who, being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. The name of Jesus every knee should bow, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. When I was thinking about this passage, I was thinking, uh, how many of us have gone on a vacation, and when we come back, we, we, had the, we have the dread of going back to work? You know, you had such a good time, you're rested, and, and especially when you have to go back to work and you know that things have piled up. And when you get back to work, it's, it's, it's almost not worth having gone. Well, imagine you were not simply on a nice vacation, but you were in paradise. And how hard that would be to leave actual paradise and come down and have to experience the travails, the trials, the suffering, and the death on something as inglorious as a cross. And this is what Jesus did for us. Uh, in this passage, Paul is trying to remind the Christians to adopt the same attitude that Jesus had, that even though he had it all, he gave it up for a while so that he could save us. And that's why we're here this morning, to celebrate the Lord's death and resurrection. And uh, let's try every day, not just today, to be mindful of that attitude that Christ had and to live our lives in the light of his sacrifice for us.